It's great to be at the Dodson and Horrell Bolsworth International Horse Trials. It's my last kind of day of freedom before we go into quarantine. So yeah, it's great to be out and great to see crowds back. So it's really exciting to be selected on London 52 for the Olympics. Um, it's obviously a total dream come true. Um, I've been really focusing on just one event at a time leading up to it. Um, the, there's been so many amazing combinations in the eventing. Um, so selection's been really tight. So I've just been focusing on me and my performances. And um, I've been so lucky that London 52's come out from Poe last year um, in amazing form. And, He's just been getting better and better, so um, to get selected is sort of the icing on the cake and now we look forward to hopefully continuing his run of good form in Tokyo. When I actually got the call from Dickie to say I'd been selected, um, it was a bit surreal really. I kind of, it's a conversation that you kind of run over in your head so many times about what you know what you might say or how you might feel and then I just was I couldn't really talk to be honest um, didn't really say much and yeah I was just in total shock and then cried quite a lot and um, I guess it didn't really sink in um, until it actually got made public we knew um, quite a bit before it actually got made public so it was kind of like is it happening is it is it did I dream it I woke up the next day and um, I told my groom Tilly and she texted me she was like so did I dream that last night or did we actually get the call and I was like this is mental. Um, so yeah I think once it actually got made public and, and everyone started saying well done it was like oh my god this is actually happening so yeah it's crazy. So now we've um, been selected we've had a couple of training days and, and tomorrow we go into quarantine well the horses go into quarantine um, so they have a week in quarantine before the horses then go to Liège to fly um, in Belgium they fly from Belgium so um, yeah, it's sort of, sort of trying to keep them wrapped in cotton wool, but sort of focusing on keeping everything the same and not changing anything, um, trying not to stress and um, yeah, keep calm and, and do what we've been doing all year because so far it's worked. So um, yeah, that's kind of the main aim really is to keep everything the same and hopefully go there with, um, you know, the, the, in the form that he's in. So we arrive in Tokyo about a week before the competition actually starts, so we'll have a a few days of you know acclimatising and getting used to the surroundings and um, it will just be again focusing on, on trying to keep to stick to the plan and um, focus on keeping the horses in, in as much of a routine as, as they have been and, and that is possible really obviously we you know, have to work them either early or late because of the heat um, but I've you know we've heard that the facilities are amazing so yeah really looking forward to getting out there and couldn't be happier to be on a team with you know Oliver Townend and Tom McEwen who are both so experienced and, and so relaxed to be honest I think I'm definitely going to be the one that um, will be the stressiest out of all of them but um, yeah it's great to have them you know they're, they're amazing competitors and I think we'll be a really strong team.